This is going to be a very quick tutorial on setting up Tiny Proxy for use with your Zen for Oil server. Tiny Proxy is a very easy to install and set up proxy for HTTP traffic. There are two options in Zen for Oil. There is URL unfurling and then there is image and link proxying. If you use either of those things, then GET requests are being sent from your server's origin IP to these other websites. If you're behind Cloudflare and you're afraid of exposing your origin IP address, then you need to set up a proxy so that these requests aren't coming from your origin. If you don't, anyone can get your server's IP address by just hot linking a URL or a image on your website. I've done a image proxy test and I've also done an unfurling test. And then I'll go to guided hacking and I will do a grep and we will see the IP address of the server is connected there twice. So that is what we want to prevent from happening. So to do that, we are going to go over to our new server. This is just a $5 digital ocean droplet, which is fine. You can also use this on your mail server as well. So you can combine your mail server and your proxy server, but it's easy. I'm on CentOS, so we're going to do yum install EPL release, then yum update, and then yum install tiny proxy. Once that's completed, we want to stop the service. So we're going to use user slash sbin slash tiny proxy, and we're going to stop it. And that's because we're going to modify the configuration, change the config. We're going to go to slash etc slash tiny proxy, and we will find the config file. Let's open that. We're going to change the default port to uh, 8080. We are going to look for 127.0.0.1. So these are the IP addresses that we're going to allow, and we're going to allow our Zetin 40 IP address. So that is 134.122.28.128. And all their IP addresses will be def uh, denied by default. Next, we want to ensure that this is an anonymous proxy. So this we want to set to no, because we don't want to put the uh, source IP address in the header as well, the forwarded for address. And then we're going to save that. Now we should be able to do, uh, we should be able to start that service now. And now we want to go over to our Zen for all server, and we want to change uh, config.php. And we need to add down here. This is just something that's listed in the documentation for Zenforo. And we're going to set up the HTTP proxy here and put in the IP address and the correct port for our tiny proxy server. We should be able to save that. And just to clear some caches, we're going to do NGX restart and FPM restart. I had that be a problem for some reason, but that's easy to fix. And so now we should be able to use our proxy server. So let's run a test image proxy. Let's also do an unfurling test. Looks fine. And then let's make sure that that did what we wanted it to do. So we can do, we're going to grep in our server. This is our IP address for our Zen for our server. And we've got nothing new there. If we then replace that with a grep for our tiny proxy, I just had to force it to write the log file to disk. And once I've done that, I redid the grep. And as you can see, there it is. So now we are proxying everything through here and our origin IP is safe. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, guidedhacking.com slash donate, patreon.com slash guidedhacking. Please support us so that we can continue to make videos and peace out.